Here are the best live streaming apps for Android, iPhone, and iPad right now. We've tested all the leading options for mobile live streaming and have narrowed it down to the top options that we recommend, including beginner-friendly free live streaming apps up to more professional alternatives. So all of these options I'm gonna cover here are really a decent step up from the built-in app that YouTube, that Facebook, that Twitch, that TikTok give you. If you're looking for something more professional, more flexibility to allow you to create better live streams, that's what we're talking about here. So app option number one is Prism Live Studio. This one is awesome. It works on iOS, on Android. There is also a Mac and a Windows version as well. So you can use this on desktop too. At the time of shooting this video, it's also completely free. It's got a really easy to use, really intuitive interface. So if you've never live streamed before, you're gonna be able to pick it up pretty quick in here. It's also worth noting that this isn't just a live streaming app as well. It's also a video camera app for your phone and also a photo app too. But in regards to the live streaming piece, you can either live stream your phone cameras, you can also live stream your phone screen. So if you're gonna be doing gaming or you wanna share something as a tutorial, you can do that too. And they also have a VTuber mode in here as well. And look, to be honest, maybe I'm showing my age. I had to Google what that actually is. So it allows you to use an online virtual avatar or a character so that you're not showing your face. You've also got the ability in here to customize up the interface a little bit as well. You can tap on screen to set the focus, to set the exposure, and you can also access pro camera settings as well to really lock things down. And there's even some different beauty mode and face shaping filters and things in here too, if you're into that. So Prism Live Studio will let you broadcast live to most of the major platforms out there, and it even lets you multicast or simulcast and go live to multiple places at the same time. So if you want to go live to your YouTube channel and to Facebook or to Twitch, you can easily do that from this app. And it curates all the comments into one place for you. So you don't need to go over to YouTube to view the YouTube comments and Facebook for Facebook comments. You can actually see them all in one curated list for you while you're live. There's also a lot of stickers and GIFs and things that you can easily bring into your live stream as well. And there's even the ability to draw or to write on your screen too. If you swipe across to the side, this is where you can access your studio. And your studio is where you can have all of your assets ready and prepared for when you go live. Things like bringing in photos and videos and music files. You can even create playlists of videos and music as well. But you can also easily add and pre-configure your text in here as well. And there's a bunch of presets to help you do that too. And then when you're live and you wanna bring them into your live stream, you can just select on them. You can choose where you wanna have it on the screen. But the moment you just tap on the screen or deselect it, that's when it's going to appear in your stream. Or you could just swipe back to your studio and tap on that element and it's gone. You can also bring in and configure up widgets at this point here too. So you can have a widget to bring a live chat feed into your live stream. You can also bring in an RTMP video source and even a web page. So for instance, I've got one here now for our Primal Video website. If I press on that, then you can see we can bring that into our live feed. We can scale it, we can pick it up, we can move it around, and we can interact with it too. But overall, I think this is a great option, again, for someone who is an absolute beginner, right through to someone at kind of that intermediate level, someone who's looking for these extra features and things, but without necessarily looking for a full production studio. It is worth noting that currently there is no guest feature in Prism Live Studio where you can bring in guests into your live stream. But don't worry, option number two has that functionality. So option number two is StreamYard. Now, yes, technically, if you've heard of this one before, this is web-based software and not technically an app. But it does work on iOS, on Android, on iPad. It works on pretty much everything because it runs in a web browser. And it's an amazing option. So instead of downloading and installing anything, you just need to head to the StreamYard website, create an account and log in. And then they make the process for going live and configuring everything up there right there from your browser window. Again, this is another one that has a really simple, really easy to use interface, but it's also got some of the more advanced stuff like adding text and titles. And you can again, create all of this stuff ahead of time as well. Just like Prism Live Studio, you have the ability to go live to multiple places and simulcast your live stream. But one of the biggest differences in the way that StreamYard does it is because it's all run in the cloud. It's all run on their servers and you're accessing it through a website. All you're doing is sending your information to StreamYard, so your webcam, your sound, your screen share, whatever it is, 
and they push it out to multiple places for you. Comparing that to a lot of the other options where you've got to send a feed to YouTube, a feed to Facebook. So you're doubling down, not just on your internet bandwidth, but also you're adding more load to the device that you're using too. So StreamYard make it really, really easy for you to generate a unique link to send out to someone for them to come and join you in your live stream. And then they just show up as another video source that you can tap on and add into your stream. And they've also got these templates here for you for whether you're broadcasting in portrait or in landscape. I also love that just like how Prism Live Studio had the curated comment list where it was bringing in comments from wherever you're live, StreamYard does that as well, but it takes it one step further is that you can interact with those comments and you can feature them in your live stream too. So if you just tap on a comment, it's gonna bring it up in your live stream and this can help with engagement and interaction on your streams. So I've barely scratched the surface of what's in StreamYard, but in terms of what you can do from your mobile device, bring in titles and everything, bring in guests, it is a very solid option. Now in terms of pricing, there is a free version that you can jump into. It does have a watermark and some restrictions to what you can do. So to remove the watermark, you need to jump on one of the their paid plans. So you've got the basic plan, which is likely gonna be good enough for most use cases that will enable the multi-streaming, allow you to configure it up with your branding and logos and graphics and things. And it will also let you have up to 10 people live on your stream as well. So that starts at $20 per month if you're paying annually or 25 per month if you're going month to month. If you wanna unlock all the features and functionality, then that's where you wanna jump on their professional plan, which is $39 a month billed annually, $49 a month if you're going month to month, but this is going to enable full HD live streaming and recording. And you can see here a bunch of other features as well. But one that I wanna call out here is this on-air webinars. This is something that we have now removed our additional webinar tool that we were paying for, paying a lot for, to now use StreamYard for that too. So if you do find that this is the best option for you for mobile streaming, then know that this same account you can actually use from your desktop and potentially run webinars and that kind of stuff too or just use it for live streaming. So again, StreamYard is a great option, absolute beginner right through to an intermediate level. I guess it's the easiest option if you wanna bring in guests into your mobile live stream, but it's also probably the easiest and the most straightforward to use. So that brings us to option number three, which is Camo Studio. So straight out, I gotta say apologies, this one is iPad only. Sorry, Android users. But this one again packs a punch in terms of what you can do from your mobile device or iPad in this case. This one is really replicating professional grade live streaming software on your iPad. One of the biggest differences with this app is that it's not just limited to one camera. This will actually let you use multiple cameras. So the front facing camera, maybe one of the cameras on the back of your iPad at the same time. But you also have the ability if your iPad supports it to external devices or cameras to bring that feed in as well. So you could connect it up to your DSLR or mirrorless camera and create a really pro looking live stream based on using a more professional camera. Or you could actually hook this up to your Xbox or your PlayStation and use it to play the game, to use your iPad as a screen for that, but also for recording and for live streaming. So at the time of shooting this video, Camo Studio doesn't have the ability to multi-stream or to simulcast, but does still bring in chat and interactions from the platforms that you're live streaming on. So you don't need to leave the app to go and monitor comments and that kind of stuff. It even says on their website under their frequently asked questions, yes, it's completely free and there are no plans to change that. Awesome. So a pretty amazing option for live streaming, but also for live recording on your iPad too. So rounding this out, I think this is a good option for someone that obviously has an iPad, but is looking for more of a production studio, having the ability to access multiple cameras and bring in external cameras and devices as well. Then it's gonna be hard to go past Camo Studio for iPad. Now to help you even further with your live streaming, I've got a few videos linked on screen and a bunch of other resources down in the description box below. So don't forget to check those out. Let me know in the comments which is your pick for top live streaming app right now. And I will see you in the next video.